And good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And it's an honor to be here in this incredible studio. And I'll get into that later, tell you all about it. But first of all, I want to introduce you to the band. And this is at the piano, the incredible Miguel Rodriguez from Spain, stuck here in Holland. And uh, on the bass from Rotterdam, that's Mr. Thomas Paul. And at the drums from Artswald in the north of Holland, that is Mr. Joost Patoka. Joost Patoka. And my name is Benjamin Herman, and we're once again we're very very happy to be here. We're going to play um, a number of tunes from things we have recorded in the studio in the last 15 years or so, and uh, we're going to uh, play. Uh, going to play a new song which we haven't. Well, we we've played it, but we've never recorded it. And we're going to do some golden oldies from the standard repertoire. So um, let's get started. This tune is something from an album I made in 2004. Uh, the album is called Heterogeneity. And this tune is uh, called Inhale, Exhale. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. So that was inhale, exhale. That's about smoking. And um, um, we're going to carry on now with something that I wrote for a good friend of mine. He's the percussion player, one of the percussion players in um, my other band, the New Cool Collective. And that's Frank Van Dock. And I wrote this for an album which I recorded in 1999 long time ago. <laughs> we recorded it with uh, uh, Idris Mohammed on drums and Larry Goldings at the organ and the great Yesa Van Ruller on guitar. And this one is called Frank's Day Out. Frank's Day Out.
That one was for Frank. And um, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to carry on now with something that we recorded in Studio 150 with uh, an amazing young musician called Daniel von Picards. He's a, a wonderful singer and an excellent piano player. And it's actually one of the few vocal albums I ever made. Uh, Yost is on drums on that album as well. And Miguel plays a couple of songs on that. And the opening song for that uh, album was taken from uh, Mr. Mancini. And he wrote this. Am I right? I'm, I'm doing this off the cuff. I think so, yeah. I'm mixed up. It is. Um, but he uh, wrote it for, um, for a, a detective series kind of thing, which didn't actually get in the movie, but it ended on the album. But anyway, the, the reason I came across it is because it's in The Big Lebowski. It's used in the movie, and it's a beautiful tune. And when the dude starts tripping, they start this song. And I went and uh, researched this, and it turned out it had some lyrics to it, and we done our own little version. And this is a song called A Slow Hot Wind.
Okay. I actually took the album with me, but I forgot to show. This is this is the album, and um, it's uh, uh, something we're very proud of, and we're very fortunate to have been able to record with Daniel, who is an incredible singer. And we are also very fortunate to have been able to record it in Studio 150 with uh, their incredible technician, Mr. Yuri Sal who's sitting upstairs in this amazing control room, which you can't see because it's on the second floor or first floor or something. Oh, maybe we can zoom into that. We can pan into it. Wow. It's incredible. There he is. He's up there. That's the, the beautiful silhouette of Mr. Yuri Sal. And he, I think I must have recorded how many albums here? I don't know. How many albums did we record here, Yuri? He doesn't know either. It's a trick question, isn't it? It's a trick question, yeah. I was hoping you could answer that. But I don't know, it's uh, quite a few. With New Cool Collective as well. And with uh, several different stuff, several different things here. And uh, Yuri has always delivered. He's an incredible technician and a wonderful guy. And it's always a pleasure to work with him. And we're so happy we can actually do these live streams here this live stream here and as you probably know they do it every weekend three times a week like three times every weekend um we're going to carry on with something for a very special guy who turned 80 yesterday and his name is hans dolfer hans dolfer and we're very happy he's still around and he's a, a unique figure and an incredible musician and a wonderful band leader. He's been in the business for 65 years. And um, there's this tune I wrote for him a long time ago, and we've never actually recorded it. 
We've tried a couple of times, but it never really worked out. But I think we've got an arrangement now which might work. So we're going to try and play it for you. And uh, we'd like to congratulate Hans Dolfer, who is indeed Candy Dolfer's father, for those of you who have been living under a stone, as they say in Dutch, for the last uh, uh, 50 years. Um, Hans Dolfer is uh, Candy Dolfer's father, and uh, uh, he's very proud of it. This song is called D is for Dolfer. D is for Dolfer.
We made it through. That's a, that's a, we only played that once, I think, that song. But that's fun. D is for Dolpho. I just got to get something now, sorry. Um, because we're going to go do something. This is also another tribute. And it comes from an album that uh, recorded also in Studio 150 in 2006. 2006. And uh, this album is uh, dedicated to a Dutch writer. Everybody in Holland knows who he is, Mr. Remco Kampert. And he's 90 now. And he's still going strong. And in 2006, I wrote some music for a documentary about him. And it turned out pretty nice. So we went back in the studio and recorded a whole album based on that music. And a lot of people like this album. It's amazing. Uh, <laughs> No, it's, it turned out pretty good. And once again, Yuri Sal up there, he recorded it so well. The sound is fantastic on this album, just like the album Trouble as well. Very special kind of sound. Um, this is a song inspired by one of his poems. And this is called I Dreamt in the Cities at Night.
I'm going to change things around a bit. We've got a set list. I don't really know if my watch is running right, but we've, we're going to do something now, um, which is taken off an album we recorded, or Yuri recorded, <laughs> but he recorded it live at a place in Amsterdam called The King, and that's where we play with the four of us every two weeks. We do a jam session there, and there's lots of young fantastic musicians who come around there and have uh, played in the past, what is it, 14 years that we've been doing that jam session. Uh, we made lots of uh, wonderful young friends who are now, some of them are not even young anymore, but they, they keep on coming and uh, they love to join in and we love to uh, join in with them. So we're like the house band at this jam session. And of course that's not happening and we have no idea when we're going to be able to um, actually do that again. They asked, they've, they phoned us, by, phoned me during the week. They want to try and work something out. We'll see what we can do. I think they're going to turn the place into a restaurant temporarily. Um, but uh, check out the internet, please, in the coming while at De Kring in Amsterdam if you're interested and you live in the neighborhood. Because we're trying to start things up here. And uh, for the time being, it's, it's difficult to get work and it's difficult to play together. That's why we're so happy. Because we, we haven't seen each other in ages. I haven't seen Miguel in, I don't know, how long? <laughs> but um, so we're very happy to get together. It feels a bit weird without an audience. Um, but we know what you're, you're watching, so we're very happy about that. Um, this one is taken from the album we recorded in uh, oh, at the Kring, at this session, and that was, I think, in 2012, something like that, and we released it as a live album. All these albums are, you can find them on my Spotify page, of course, and in the Apple Music thing, and if you're old-fashioned, you can buy it on a CD as well. Um, but this one is just simply called Live, this album. And it's, uh, it's basically a club night that was recorded and recorded excellently once again. This uh, song is dedicated to a bunch of DJs that used to be at work in Amsterdam and around Holland in the noughties. This is called Red Nose District.
And so, uh, that tune was taken off this album. Let me get it for you. Um, this album was also recorded uh, by Yuri Sal in hey. Studio 150. <laughs> this is recorded in 2013, 2013. And we recorded it as a trio with Ernst Glerum on the bass and Joost on drums. And, um, you know, it's kind of strange for a jazz musician, a real jazz musician, to play Summertime these days. But um, we did, and it turned out pretty good. And the album is very nice, because sonically, it's very interesting. And this is the vinyl, by the way. There's only 300 copies of this pressing. I need to dust it off. <laughs> but... Um, that, of course, is also out and able. You can listen to that on your favorite streaming service or whatever. But the, the vinyl is sold out. You might find someone on something online somewhere. We'll see. Um, once again, that's Mr. Jos Patoka on the drums, Mr. Thomas Paul on the bass, Mr. Miguel Rodriguez at the piano. And we're going to close things off with the blues that is from our live album, uh, one I spoke about just before. And this is a very old one. This is uh, recorded by Ma Rainey and um, Elvis Presley as well. This is called C.C. Rider. It's C.C. Rider.
Okay, that was C.C. Ryder. And um, thank you all. <laughs> thank you. My name is Benjamin Herman. Thank you very, very much. And um, we'd like to thank Peter Riebeck. And we'd like to thank Casper behind the cameras and Tom, who's doing the excellent uh, camera work. And of course, Yuri up here in the mixing booth. And once again, Mr. Yos Patoka, Thomas Paul, and Miguel Rodriguez. And we're very happy that you were watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and uh, we hope to see you soon. And thank you. This was it from Studio 150 Amsterdam in the Bethlehem Church.